God. What's wrong? Every few years, I forget why I don't like strategy games. So I buy a hybrid of some kind thinking, oh, this won't be so bad. Well, I've officially been reminded why I don't like them very much. Why is that? I suck at them. I'm not good at stratemagizing. Does that mean I can add this game to that list I keep of examples of why you don't play certain genres? You keep one? <laughs> you assume I keep one? What happens when you mix Mega Man X type gameplay that has transformations, separate challenge rooms full of ridiculous shifts in difficulty, top-down strategy gameplay that emphasizes building and controlling a series of mindless minions who will do whatever the title character says, with one of the famous stories from the Bible, Smelter. You get Smelter. Do all of these crazy, unique elements combine into something truly worth your time, or not? Let's find out. Story Ah. You thought we were kidding about the Bible thing, didn't you? Nope. This whole thing starts with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden just before the original sin is cast. You start as Adam and you do, what else, but create sin. Soon as you do, a large white light engulfs the screen, which then transforms into a black screen, which then fades into Eve falling from paradise into where else but H-E double hockey sticks. Scrolling text begins to appear on the screen explaining the last 30 seconds of gameplay, as well as introduce a text-based omniscient narrator who has a scripted fight with some unseen third party. Shortly after, the Mega Man X-type gameplay takes over as you jump and kick your way through a tutorial level until you discover Smelter. From there, this badass female protagonist is officially stripped of her individuality and only becomes a vehicle to drive Smelter through the rest of the game. This game then becomes his story, his adventure, and his various hang-ups become the games. Eve's quest for Adam falls on the back burner while we experience Smelter's adventure, his past, his various screw-ups. It really makes you question if the Adam and Eve story was even really necessary behind the slightly sexy idea of the ridiculous armor Eve wears. Gameplay! Ah! To guide Eve, and eventually Smelter, from the chasm in which the former found the latter, you use the aforementioned Mega Man X-type gameplay with wall sliding, jumping, shooting, and dashing, coupled with a few other mechanics that tutorial level will teach you, until you reach the other genre inexplicably added to this game, the overworld strategy gameplay! Ooh! Wow. Gah, I find this part of the game absolutely insufferable. This entire portion of the game involves the management and creation of resources to feed and strengthen future cadavers who will fight the various random enemies that appear. They also press switches, protect structures, and will throw themselves on spikes and into flames for their glorious leader, Smelter. The beginning bits of this are easy and require little to no actual work besides set up the homes for minions and let minions die. Then, when they have to defend three outposts or you need 30 extra minions to press three separate switches while the rest battle a horde of enemies, it can get pretty overwhelming. As a strategy game novice, this was a difficult portion of the game. Final Thoughts ah. Smelter seems like a game that would really have benefited from sticking to one genre, one storyline, and one way to play. As it stands, the action platforming leaves a lot to be desired, with checkpoints spaced too far apart, the top-down strategy has too many tiny currencies, and the story never needed the Adam and Eve twist. Clearly, this is a game that wanted Smelter as the main character, and action platformer as its main genre. It tries to be a hybrid of too many things, and does none of them very well. This reviewer finds this game difficult to recommend for anything more than the animated trailer, which is free to watch on YouTube. Just don't let that be the only reason you find interest in this game like someone else did. I'm sorry, I'm easily influenced! <laughs>